Welcome to KPE Paranormal. Tonight, we are out here in the middle of nowhere. Now, when we arrived here, we seen like lots of overgrown weeds, grass, all that stuff. We gotta be really cautious with snakes around here. It's just down deep in the country, and it's like surrounded by woods, everything you name it, because there's like a forest nearby. So it's like known for snakes here in Kentucky. So we definitely gotta be careful with the snakes in the grass, careful where we walk through the grass, and also especially watch our feet placement inside this home. Now upon arriving here, it did feel airy, just because of the layout and the way the pictures were all line of what I looked at of the home. But upon arriving here, it was just like a vibe. But as soon as I approached inside the home, giving some time, so it usually takes me a while for me to know if the place is haunted or sometimes if the energy is like really strong, I know right then and there it's haunted. Kind of like the one house in uh, Park City, yeah, Park City, Kentucky. How it's just like a blast full of energy that like, went through me. That's how I knew that house is automatically haunted. But in this house here, it's not about it. It's just whatever spirit that followed us from other locations makes the place hot and it had the cap all lit up and all that stuff. So, yeah. Make sure to like this video, share this video. Y'all come along on the exploration and let's do this. Scouting the place out to make sure there's nobody here. This is part of the front of the house here. All right, gonna climb on top of this. See how I could do this. All right, so it'll be like that, like this. Put on here, and then push the body up, just like that, and I'm up. Look at that spider web, which is possible walk through. It's hanging right there. We definitely gotta check for spiders. Find ourselves. There is a bird in here. So, and it's attracted by the light. Not sure if it flew out, but if it did flew out, I will put the bird in the video where we've seen the bird flying around in here.
Now I gotta think there's a basement in this one. Just wanna make sure we do not fall through the floor, of course. I'm just looking at it like that. You know, what we're feeling right now is uh, cobwebs all over us. So we just walk through tons of weeds, grass, all that stuff. Her shoes. Yeah, I don't think there is a basement. Those are rodents up there rustling around up in that hole. So this is a small abandoned house, mm -hmm. as you all see. This will go up. This will go up. I'm not afraid that time. In the way I am, but hey, it's birds and nests all over the place. Is this okay, buddy? All right, y'all. There's the bird. See the birdie? Possibly to the ex lady. There's the bird. Birdie, 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 birdie. Nope, nothing. Did y'all see that bird? The, oh, there's a bird. Alright y'all. Oh, it flew out. It'd be back. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this stuff. What I got a job for? Uh, why? Oh yeah, there's a spider right here, remember? That's probably why I jumped. Hot, hot, hot. Flashlight's hot. Thank you for this lady. I wanna see if there's stairs. Pretty sure there is. But I don't see nope. any. Probably the stairs got rotted away. <laughs> All right, so So many weeds, you know? There we 
go. So we basically made our own trail here. The only thing about this abandoned house is that we gotta put an extra upper body strength to get up top. It does a lot of walks mess up here. Yeah. Inside of this house. So Ooh. do that a hundred times. But I think it's best to do an investigation in the kitchen. There's a connection in the kitchen. Yeah. No, honestness. Is it in there? What? Is a box in there? No, I don't think there is. If there is, it probably did. Is there a connection in the kitchen? Yes. So like a snake, rattlesnake. I was recording. Tell the laugh. Like a rattlesnake. Yeah, we call we call a rattlesnake. This is that's a sign. Yes, we we hold something in the grass. Hear it? Yeah. Hello? Like if this house gets fixed up, mm -hmm. renovated, it's all peaceful, but yeah. I just don't see that happening due to so much decay. It's 
really want to know what the heck that noise is. Put back a half ball. Probably uh, upstairs, the attic. Yeah. If you're the spirit that followed us to this house, can you light it up, please? Are you the spirit? Yep. So it is a spirit that's been following us from other locations and it just followed us to this abandoned home. That's a spirit that's been making that cap out go off. But this house is not haunted. It's just whatever entity spirits followed us from a location came to this abandoned home. We're making ourselves known to us. Mm -hmm. oh, how we heal Kind of all again. Yep. We think yes. It is. It is scary. Do you like being around us? If so, can you light up the cat ball? Ooh. I got a question for you. Are you the spirit that's causing issues on the live stream tonight? If so, can you light it up for yes? Whoa, that's immediately. Is it a uh, spirit that's causing it? Did you get that on live stream? Yes. I got it on regular recording too. Can you not have that happen, please? I knew it. That's evidence right there, everyone. Mm -hmm. I knew the spirit was causing the live stream to act up, act up like that. Because we had 5G connection. And we tried to go live, and it kept on acting up. And we just got a confirmation from that spirit that was, that's been following us. Mm -hmm. That's been causing a delay in the cutting in and out of the live stream was the spirit. And the spirit said yes. Through the cat ball communication. And we, when you wanted to right here when that went up, the pop wasn't you. I wanted to see you walk over here again and it didn't happen. Right. The feeling of this house. It's not haunted, but we still have spirit communication. And that is because few spirits has followed us to this abandoned house. Now, we do have a haunted dog in our backpack. And we did got confirmation of a spirit that followed us to this house. Like, it immediately lit up, as you've seen earlier in the video. Um, yeah, there's like no attachments of any spirits at this home it's just a regular old abandoned home out in the middle of nowhere and pretty much it of this house I mean it's just a small home no basement no second floor just just one floor home and we like I said we got our Haza doll here Maggie is her name? Given name is Victoria. Yes, given name is Victoria. We're going to be wrapping up this investigation slash exploration. Now, when we went inside, we came upon this unexpected surprise. There was a bird, of course, among other things, like I said. And usually when we go to abandoned places, there's going to be birds, there's going to be rodents, there's going to be all sorts of animals, right? No point around that, right? 
And so, we got inside and there was like birds flapping its wings all willy nilly all over the place and all that stuff. So we had to be careful around that, make sure we don't fly our faces and make sure we don't poop on our heads and all that stuff. So luckily we did not do any of that. Um, like I said, the intro the vibe of pulling up to this place, it was airy just because of the layout. And it's out in the middle of nowhere, it's in the middle of the night at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, you know. That kind of airy type night. But paranormal wise, it's not hot and it's peaceful. I actually love it here. It's not strong energy, it's no energy, but it's just peace. But it's just sad how this house came upon just like this decaying, rotting, stuff falling apart, all that stuff. And it's just like, it's rock way taken over by nature. But, anyways, the uh, activity that we got from the cat boss that we had laying out was because what I felt. I've already knew there was no spirits attached to this home, but I definitely knew there was some spirits that's been following us, and that's what triggered the cat balls to have it set off, like the way it did, right? So, we asked the spirit for confirmation so how you all, the viewers, could see that what I felt was right, and then as you seen in the video, when I asked, are you the spirit that followed us to this abandoned house, we just wanted to offer confirmation, and it led up right immediately when I asked that question to show you the viewers that what I felt was right, you know. So, like I said, it's not about it. It's just as far as I follow this from other locations, had this place the way it is, of how it was active, just a tad bit. But the noise that we might be hearing is like rodents from the attic and other stuff. It is a nice find, it's tucked like it said in the woods. All that stuff. It's one floor home, no basement, no second floor. Um, it's a cute little hole. I gave it that, but I was hoping it'll be much bigger. But that's part of the explorers and what we find. We try to find bigger places, bigger houses, but this is a nice spot. I like it. Yeah. It's cozy. It feels cozy. Yeah. I said peaceful. Just wish it was not in this state of the way it is, you know, like all this decay, rotting, all that stuff. Anyways, uh, we're gonna be wrapping it up. Make sure to smash the like button, share this video out. Subscribe to the channel for more adventures like this. Um, cemeteries, well known haunted locations like Waverly Hills, um, Ross Opera House, stuff like that. We do all those investigations too that we caught great evidence. Until next time, KPE Paranormal. Love and peace.